Hi there, welcome to Active Lessons with myself. Let's look at an array, find the size, minimum, maximum, and also explore more options. Okay, so this is my array. I let it be A. So A, square brackets, 2, 2, 10. I noticed that the columns that I used here, it means from 2 all the way to 10 with the spacing of 2. So I want us to find its size, find the minimum, and find the maximum, right? Let's go. I'm gonna take this here and run it this side. Perfect, okay. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten, 10, which is basically from two all the way to 10, the spacing of two, there we go. Find the size, we have five, so it's one all the way to five. Find the minimum, um, the minimum it's two and the maximum it's 10, right? So can you see how we wrote our array? Can you see how we presented it from two with colons to 10? This is what we did. So what's the difference between um, writing an area like this and writing all of this here. Let's explore everything. So I'm just gonna take this here. I could run, but I wanna explain throughout. So I'm just gonna paste. Great. Okay, so we start here, line spacing. So when you say line spacing, you use a zero, sorry, not zero. You use a comma and circle brackets versus the square brackets. So what we basically now are saying is, if you look at this line spacing here, we have one, two, 10. We are basically saying from one all the way to two, we want 10 points. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 points. So from one all the way to two, we have 10 points. From zero all the way to two, we have 10 points. And there we go again. So what happens if you write something similar as above, which is this here? But if you write it in this format here, you are creating a row vector. So if you don't put anything in your square brackets, you just put spacing, it will create a row vector for you. Another way to create a row vector is by putting the, the commas. It will create another row vector for you. It's just the same thing, just tomato, tomato difference. Um, same thing, but different options. Now, what happens if you put the semicolons, this colons here, it will create a column vector for you. As you can see here, what happens if you create, you put in an apostrophe at the end? It will create a column for you. We call this transpose. On Octave, it creates a column for you. So there's two ways to create a row vector, spacing or commas, and there's two ways to create a column vector, um, semicolons or the transpose sign. What happens if you just write it this way? We explored it above, remember? which is zero to 10, which is zero all the way to 10, the spacing of two. So there's different ways that you write it, different signs impose different things. And what happens if you put a semicolon at the end? You are basically saying you don't want this equation to show. You are omitting it, it won't appear. But if I say this x1, okay, there's a lot of x1s. I'm just gonna be very confused. Okay, perfect. It re represented the latest x1, which is this one here, which is a row vector and even if i just said x1 it will display it i hope that makes sense